between two tall gateposts of rough-hewn stone, the gate itself having fallen from its hinges at some unknown epoch, we beheld the gray front of the old parsonage terminating the vista of an avenue of black ash trees. Both Nathaniel Hawthorne and Ralph Waldo Emerson lived in the old manse at different times, so we're going to go take a tour of this house now. The old manse is essentially the birthplace of the transcendentalist movement. That he quit his post in the ministry. And in 1834, well actually but before that, you're going to be interested in this story because I know you're interested in the British authors. It was here that Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote his essay Nature, which became the founding document of the transcendentalist movement. Later, the house was sold to the Hawthorne family, and Nathaniel Hawthorne also wrote in this room a series of short stories, which were later collected in a book called Mosses from an Old Manse. 1775, if you were here in 1775, looking out these windows, it would look a little different, because it was a farm in those days, and so there were no trees. They had cut down all the trees, cleared the land for farming. There were very few trees anywhere in Congress. So by the time they had the Battle of the North Bridge, the people had been cutting down trees here. The backyard of the old manse used to be farmland, so there used to be more of a view. And that view is of the Minuteman Bridge, so they had a clear view of the battle of the American and British forces clashing right here on this bridge in the backyard.